What's up everyone? Welcome to Complete Geek TV. Now, you may be wondering why I've got the camera at such a weird angle today, and that is because we are going to be taking this normal PS5 DualSense controller and trying to see if we can kind of turn it into a DualSense Edge. So, uh, let's get to this and then we'll test it out and see how it works. There we have it. Well, that took forever, and now that we've finally got this built and played with it a little bit, let's talk about it. What I did was took an original DualSense 5 controller, the controller that came with the PlayStation, and I went to Extreme Rate's website and got clicky triggers, interchangeable sticks, and back paddles. And this video is not sponsored by Extreme Rate, but one really interesting thing that I wanna say before we get too far into this is that in the process of making this video, we had already started on it. We had already started working on the build, already started like getting together, filming some stuff for it, and Extreme Rate out of nowhere messages us and says, hey, would you like to... Have dinner sometime? Yeah, no. no they, <laughs> they said, would you that. like to review the uh, the Rise 4 remap kit, the back paddles? And I was like, um, yeah, that'd be cool, but we actually have already started a video similar to that and with a few other products as well. And they were like, oh, that's awesome. Well, if you'd like to set up um, a discount code, feel free to do that. So if any of this interests you, you can actually get 10% off by going to Extreme Rates website and typing in CGTV as a promo code when you're checking out. So just thought I'd let you know, again, this video is not sponsored by Extreme Rate. They don't get input on this before we post it. Yep. They don't get to see it before we post it. And we're gonna tell you what we honestly think. Now, before I go too much farther, the swappable sticks, there is actually a PS4 and a PS5 version. So far, from what I could find, I couldn't find any metal PS5 mm -hmm. versions. But I like that they had a metal PS4. It was actually labeled as a PS4 slash Xbox swappable sticks. I bought both and I tried both. And when I put the PS4 metal ones in, it I works. liked these the best. They and work. It works, yeah. It works just fine. And so I don't like be these. concerned about that. So feel free to get the ones you want. We chose to stick with the PS4 ones because they work just fine. Yep. The other thing is the build. The build took for freaking <laughs> ever. It's not an easy build. It's yeah. not something that, that- Not for the faint of heart. No, not at all. But if you've ever worked with any electronics before, you can figure it out. I am not super techie as far as taking things apart and building them, and I figured it out. So let's get into this. What's kind of interesting about this is that compared to the DualSense Edge, I would say the reason someone probably wants a DualSense Edge is for two things. The ability to have faster triggers and the ability to completely swap out the sticks. Mm -hmm. So if you have messed up sticks or they get drift, you can just go and be like, boom, that one's messed up. Let's fix it yep. and put a new one in for $20. And of course Six you can $20. do customized profiles. Yeah, customized profiles. So, I mean, there is a few extra- Mappable buttons. There is a few features that yep. this custom build will never have. If all you're wanting is just a, I guess an edge. Some adva um, yeah. advantages, advantages over, yeah, the in first person shooters, I almost prefer this. Simply because, first of all, these triggers are way quicker. I mean, we'll show a closer up version, but like this is the shortest mode. Yep. And I mean, I'd say it's got- Man, the distance man, is almost three times longer. It is, like. it is. Like this oh, is just more. instant. Yeah. That's just, there's like... By the way, we're going to be doing an actual video sh mm -hmm. testing out response yeah. times on all these controllers. We think it'll be really so, helpful. So, yeah, make yeah. sure you stay tuned for that because, yeah, we're going to test them all. Yep. So, I really like how these respond. So, again, if you're playing first-person shooters, this is super quick. I actually kind of like the feel of these sticks better than all the options you get. And you get other options. You got dome options. That was no, all I think, part of I think the same it's kit, just, right? I think it's just tall domes. Yes, yeah, all part of the same kit. Uh, you get tall concave options and short concave options. So you get the same kind of options with this, you know? Yeah. But I just, I prefer the feel. I like that it's metal. Guys, when I put this in my hand, I absolutely love the grip because this, this whole plate that has the four mappable buttons on the back actually comes with this grip, yes. correct? Yes, so yeah. the mappable buttons on the back are not just this little piece. It actually comes with an entire new back plate. That, that all connects together. So this grip feels, oh, it feels good. awesome. It actually makes the edge feel like, like a standard, standard. It does. Like just standard plastic yep. grip. Like the edge definitely has a little more grip than the normal 
dual sense but no this is this is way more grippy um so this is what's weird i don't know keep in mind this is going to be just personal preference but these still have the haptics even with this little travel if you want them obviously mm -hmm. you can shut it off in your play in your uh, playstation settings but we're sitting here playing around with it and we're just like that's actually kind of cool if you yeah. still want that. Yeah, like the, the where L1. Where you don't have that on here if you or, go all the way to the lowest setting in the mid setting. Yeah, so yeah, the L2 actually will like push against you. Like in Call of Duty when you go to like ready a gun. Um, yep. It actually still has some resistance and you can still feel a little bit of shake and vibration in the R2 as you're shooting. Where on the edge, when you switch to the shortest triggers, and there's no, no yep. shake, no vibration, no nothing. I mean, the, the controller still has vibration, but PS5 or PlayStation controllers have had vibration since the PS1. So that's actually really interesting. Like, I think these are faster, better triggers for first person shooters, but you don't completely miss out on yeah. some of the haptic. It is not the same kind of haptics as like no, when you're in full, full yeah. range mode on here. Yeah, but but that is kind of cool that it is, there's still just a little bit of shake there. Like it. It makes you feel like you're not completely missing it. And we know most people shut that off. We're just saying it's good to have options is all. Shoulder buttons too, big difference mm -hmm. on travel as well. These are just, I mean, it's these just are, quick These click, are just a so. very quick click. So yeah, total, it was $70. $70. So say you take the controller out of the equation because you probably already have a controller around. It was, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen if I'm wrong, but I believe it was $15 for the triggers, $15 for the sticks. Mm -hmm. I don't remember if there was a difference. I don't think it was much of a difference or any for the, the metal compared to the thing. Again, I'll put that up there if I'm wrong. But either way, the actual PS5 ones, the ones that are supposed to be meant for the PS5 were $15. Yep. And then it was $40. That's what I paid for the, the back paddle. Pa yeah. yeah, the grip yep. slash back paddles. Um, and again, if you buy it off of their website and use CGTV, you can actually get 10% off. So you're going to spend less than what I paid for yep. all of this. Because um, I had already bought this before point. they ever said, hey, do you guys want to give your people a discount? And we were like, cool, yeah, I think they would appreciate that. So for 70 bucks or less, you can have most of the same features. For someone that wants to just create something that doesn't want to spend $200, um, we just think it's a great option. Um, once again, for if someone doesn't want to go through the build process and anything, obviously another great option here, especially with not having to do a stick drift. But just something to consider there, especially for the price, guys. It yeah. feels great. I think now, having this all said and done, I'm not even sure what I would do. Like, if I, if I wanted just one controller that can do it all, and I knew that was the only controller I'm going to use, I think I might still pick the Edge just because of the, the stick options. If I want full range and all the adaptive triggers, I've got it. And if I want to make them shorter, you can make them shorter, still not as short as this. Um, you know, you can save custom profiles. Yep. You can, I mean, you can still swap out the sticks. Like it's, there, there is a lot of advantages to this, but if I just wanted like a first person shooter, a tactical, a quick like competition yep. controller and I wanted to do it on the cheap and I already had two controllers, you know, say you've already got two DualSense controllers. I think, I feel like a lot of people probably do. If you just already have an extra controller laying around, this is a way cheaper option and it gives you some the advantages we think the yeah. majority of the same features and even some advantages. Like I said, I, we'll actually, I actually prefer these sticks to the edge so that's what we think yeah it's great guys so we, we just want to at least be the whole point of all these videos we do is to try to help you guys so it's not to try to advocate for one or the other this is just a great option for those that want to save some money mm -hmm. and kind of build it how they like uh, you know because there's other options there but you know for those wondering we'll be testing out in the future the scuff fps versus the hex we're going to be doing a battery life test uh, versus this and the regular controller because we don't think is as drastic as what people make it out to be But we'll see because it might be it might surprise ourselves as well Yeah, and if you want to see how this compares to the DualSense Edge as far as like actual trigger response time The stick response time and everything as well as compared to the scuff FPS version and the hex gaming controller the hex rival pro um, we will be doing that video as well, so stay tuned. But if you're watching this video later and we've already got it done, it will be available right here to click on. So we really hope you've enjoyed this video. 
again, please like, subscribe, give us a comment if you have any opinions or if you have any questions about, about any of this, and we will hopefully see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. Bye.